Okay, so once you have your Photoshop launch, create a new create a new file. Select international paper. Set to A5 size. But for your color mode, you change it to RGB. Okay, this is for your convenience to work with colors. <laughs> Click OK. Okay. So next, uh, you want to make sure that your rulers is on, and then create guidelines to show the extreme of the paper. Okay. Then let's increase the canvas size. Okay. Um, change this to milliliter. So. Usually bleed, we put 5mm outside, left, right, up and down. So click on relative and then 5mm here, 5mm here. So we have 10 and 10 and put OK. And usually what I like to do is to create a border so you can select the paper size, do an inverse selection, create a new layer and then we'll fill it with black. Okay. Click anywhere to deselect. Okay, so if I had my guidelines you can see the border there. So maybe I name rename this called border and that's where we can start to design on this canvas okay let's assume that i have done the design okay something like this so i want to prepare the crop marks and prepare for print so usually um, I need to set this to a A4 size so let's increase the canvas uh, switch off the relatives and put, input the actual A4 size in milliliters okay so currently, okay, let me uh, try that again. Mm, millimeters, 210 by 297. Okay, so so right now this is uh, A4 size. Let me fill the background fully white because currently it's transparent. You can see the checkers. So, a quick way to fill this layer is to press alternate delete. Oh, sorry, it should be command delete. If not, the command is here for edit, fill, fill with black or white but we want white so we select white okay so we can rename this called paper this is where my design is okay so I need to create a new layer called crop marks okay the fastest way is select the corners I press the shift key so that I can do multiple selections go to edit stroke put uh, two pixel color black um, later you you see why I choose black and okay so once I deselect and I hide the guidelines you will be able to see the crop marks here so of course when I send for print 
I must remove the border okay so after you have print out you will cut using the crop marks as your guidelines across this way don't need to cut all the way just do a cut here and then do another cut this way okay you should have a very nice edge okay so once you have done with your extension and put in the bleed marks now you should save the file so that it's um, ready for print so first of all you must change the color mode back to CMYK because this is uh, how they will be printing outside so you can leave this as don't rasterize don't merge okay you're about to convert and just say okay okay you will notice that the color is a bit different because CMYK they handle the colors a bit differently so it's not as bright okay um, if you want to you can enhance further the colors but uh, let me see whether there's any improvement if I change not much difference so in any case I'm, ha I'm quite happy with this okay so let me just save as you can always do a cmyk and leave it as a photoshop default and save okay but usually when we send for printers we save as a pdf okay photoshop pdf i think this is good okay so we can just save without the layers okay then it will make the file smaller and all this you can leave it as default uh, it does give you some settings um, but you don't need but importantly is, is this is selected high quality print okay and then save It takes a while. <laughs> I have the Photoshop file in CMYK. Okay, this is in RGB. Okay, right now the computer is saving PDF version. And it's out. Okay. So this is PDF. Okay. And that's it. So you will pass this PDF file to the printer to print out.